just go back briefly to the Jada Wyman thing because to me it's insane that it wasn't a red card. Um, some people, I think, get the confusion. They go, oh, but it's a penalty. It shouldn't be a red card. No, because it's that's only if it's a football challenge. Like if you t- do a bad tackle and it's, um, yeah, you or you clip someone in the area, it's a penalty and not a red card because the old double jeopardy thing. But if it's a act like that, like serious foul play, it's not. I, I, it, it's astounding that she... For it to get picked up as a penalty in the first place, you go, well, why wasn't then it also a red card? And then um, I'm not sure if there's that situation where someone, happy to have listeners clarify, where it's been ruled to be dealt with on the field that it doesn't get looked at. But for me, it's like if you have the match review and it's looked at and it's then not judged to be a serious um, error, like a clear and obvious error, I don't know how that's not the case because, like, I think if everyone looks at that, um, real time and in slow motion, not just in slow motion. You get that's a red card. She has no like Sam. You, I don't need to rehash what you said. You labelled it perfectly. Unnecessary malicious act. That yeah, out of character as well as you say. But it doesn't matter. Like this should have been red card suspension. Um, and as we know, if it's serious foul play, you do get the book thrown at you. Um, I don't think it's just a one match suspension. It's usually at least two matches, if not potentially three. So you know, it's potentially. Could have been potentially season over, but at least it would have been a couple of matches. I, I, for me, it's pretty extraordinary that she's going to be available to play in that first final. 